Our world is growing faster than farmers' ability to feed it. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization predicts that 9.7 billion people will inhabit the planet by 2050. That is 2.5 billion more than today. An average of 7.6 million Egyptians suffered from food insecurity in the period from 2017 to 2019. In 2019, Egypt ranked 61 out of 117 countries in the Global Hunger Index, indicating a problem in food availability, affordability, and quality. One of the major factors leading to food insecurity is urban sprawl on agricultural lands. It is a cancer ravishing Egypt's economy. From 1992 to 2015, an area of 746 square kilometers changed from agricultural use to urban use, and an area of 170 square kilometers changed from vegetation to urban. This huge change in land use calls for immediate response. Another major problem is the infectious diseases that reduce the potential yields by an average of 40%, with many farmers in the developing world experiencing yield losses as high as 100%. A vast number of plant pathogens cause diseases in our crops. Their effects range from mild symptoms to catastrophes, in which large planted areas are destroyed. When these diseases go unrecognized, they are not treated correctly and the resulting crops are less than they should. Nowadays, artificial intelligence is an emerging technology that has managed to accelerate many industries. And when combined with other technologies stack like GIS, it can tackle problems like land cover degradation. GIS is a technology to gather, manage, and analyze satellite imagery. It analyzes a special location and organizes layers of information. And with help of computer vision-based AI systems, we can reach a solution. By combining a multi-petabyte catalog of satellite imagery and geospatial datasets with planetary scale analysis capabilities, we make our solution available for governments who want to monitor agriculture lands, investors who want to adopt precision agriculture technology to solve the pains and challenges that affect their yield. It begins with obtaining our geospatial images of area of interest using Google Earth Engine API and using OpenCV with Python to label these images. Acquiring open source datasets for precision agriculture and process them. Our models will process images assigned to each solution to deploy the resulting model in the website backend. An interactive map is also implemented using Google Earth Engine API. Illegal construction is a major pain in many communities, including Egypt, which causes agricultural areas to degrade. The process that measures how the attributes of a particular area have changed between two or more time periods is called change detection, and it often involves comparing aerial photographs or satellite imagery of the area taken at different times. We were inspired to use this approach to detect urban sprawl and provide a faster detection method that enables governmental entities to take an action before it is too late. To create this service, we didn't find a data set to train the model that is tailored to our region of interest, which is Delta Egypt, so we created our own data set. By first choosing the geographical locations of 24 different agricultural cities in Egypt Delta on Google Earth Engine, then we used Google Earth Engine API to atmospherically correct the data and select bands that produce an RGB image. We also filtered images to be acquired only in the summer months, June, July, August, and September from years 1984 to 2020. We used these months to reduce clouds and the cloud shadows in the image, plus it's an agricultural season. We then hand-reviewed the resulting images to select only the highest quality ones, and finally we created image change labels to show the change in agricultural areas versus urban areas between two image pairs of the same city at different times. Note that we used Landsat 5 and Landsat 8 as the source of our raw data images. To create the change detection model, we are trying different architectures based on the latest research papers, mainly UNET combined with LSTM blocks and Siamese neural networks. 
UNIT is a famous architecture for image segmentation. Our model takes two images of the same area separated by a time span as input and outputs that change detected between them. The results are then delivered to two decision makers to act upon them. Precision agriculture is a farming management concept based on observing, measuring, and responding to inter- and intra-feed variability in crops. Human society needs to increase the food production by an estimated 70% by 2050 to feed an expected population size that is predicted to be over 9 billion people. So we propose this technology as a solution to the previously detected group to help increase the crop yield and meet our future needs. By using computer vision model, we aim to help the farmer in monitoring the planet and soil, then passing the collected observation to the model that detected beasts, anomaly, and also predicted crop yield and moisture of the soil. We created the first model to detect planet diseases from yeast using Planet Village dataset, which consists of 54,303 healthy and unhealthy leaf images divided into 38 categories by species and the diseases. We use the QRAS to augment the dataset to increase the samples and gain more generalization. We then use the transfer learning to tune three models architecture, ResNet 152, VGG60, and InceptionNet. Our best performing model is Inception model, with approximately 97% accuracy on the test set and trained on 25 ebooks. InceptionNet is a combination of 1x1 convolution layer, 3x3 convolution layer, 5x5 convolution layer with their output filter banks concatenated into a single output vector forming the input of the next stage. It also uses 1x1 convolution layer to reduce the dimension and which leads us to less expensive computation. The architecture has a total of 22 layers with numerous inception models connected together to go deeper. As the model is deep, there may be chances of vanishing ingredients. To overcome this problem, the architecture uses auxiliary model along with inception model. We are currently working on the precision agriculture model for crop yield estimation. We are building a website using Django and providing it with an interactive map. The map shows analytics obtained from data collected from Google Earth Engine. It shows analytical plots of the normalized different vegetation index, which is a simple measurement of plant health. The losses gain of vegetation areas from 1984 to 2019. Water changes intensity and transition classes. The map also animates 35 years of surface water changes at an annual time step. Visualization analysis customization is controlled by slider to change the appearance of different layers. We are building the website to be as easy to use as possible. The user will be able to view analytics over their own data by simply clicking a button and providing images, which will be saved and used to make prediction over time and provide them with the best action to take to improve the yield. As for the applicability of our project, the change detection service is applicable once deployed as satellite imagery is open source. Precision Agriculture Service is applicable, but currently we don't have access to deploy an IoT system on a farm, so we will deploy it as a mobile app in the initial version to test the services. In conclusion, we aim to solve one of the most serious problems threatening the Egyptian land by allowing the government to monitor agricultural lands from space and providing an interactive map that gives analysis within a small range of time. This saves time and effort spent in making long-term statistical analysis reports. You can see that our project impacts the agricultural sector directly, as we help farmers and agricultural firms using precision agriculture by providing them with all the information needed to improve plants and give them an early alarm of diseases. We also aid governments tackle illegal urban construction on cultivated lands. We are proud our project contributes to the sustainable agriculture goals of Egypt and the UN.